I've been with the company for about a year, and one of the benefits of the newer version of this, because this, there was a parent company with the same design that was making firearms for, for the sport market. And so most of those required to be modified right out of the box. And that's something that people complained about, myself included. And I saw these being demoed out in California and, and went over to take a look at them and was really impressed with the, the fit and the finish and the out of the box performance of the guns. They don't need trigger jobs, they don't need modifications, new parts, accessories, you can pull it right out of the box. The rebuilding, the remaking of the 2011 design when Staccato took the helm has been really noteworthy. The parts are more precisely fit and finished, they're more consistent and uniform. It's capable of doing swapping slides, swapping parts. I'll pull triggers out of one gun and put them in the other and I have no issue whatsoever. He said that's not that's not the intention of the parent design, but it's actually an application of what it's capable of, which is pretty unique for a 1911-based a gun. Those have always been very specific. The parts from one gun stay in one gun and don't go to another. So that that was something that, as the R&D guy for the company, I started messing around with just to see if I could do it, see if it would work, and it's worked uniformly. I've never had one gun out of I think I've got 16 guns that I've messed around with. I've never I've never had a problem swapping parts. So it's definitely a different version of the 2011 from what people are accustomed to. The accuracy is absurdly good on all of these guns. Reliability has been better than any 1911 base gun I've ever had in my life. I did a test right when I got with the company. I shot 1,000 rounds of brass case and then 10,000 rounds of wolf steel case through the gun without cleaning it only adding lubrication about every 2,000 rounds, and I had no malfunctions other than ones that were directly attributable to magazines that had been dropped in the, in the sand. Uh, all the magazines I have, I take right out of the box and shoot. I have no problem with them. We're on Gen 2 magazines with modified geometry for feed lips and testing Gen 3 magazines right now. So there's, there's constant push forward with the gun itself. It's an inherently shootable platform because the trigger itself is very short and, and crisp. They come right out of the box with a with about a four pound trigger, a legitimate four pound trigger that's very clean. And then you can do with it what you want. In nine millimeter, this gun will last a lifetime. If you shoot them a lot, the only thing you'll ever really do is replace some minor parts along the way, which in any gun break and replace a barrel when you shoot it out. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's an investment. It's not the most inexpensive gun on the market, but it's a gun you can buy for a lifetime.